Did we get there? What's up, bro? Yeah, hey. bro. Sorry, man. That's so That's good. Whoa. We got there. Yeah, bro. Everything How? all good? Everything's all good, man. How are That's you on your end? Bro. Yeah, bro. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just cruising. Yeah. What are you up to this morning? Yeah. Uh, what nothing, bro. Just in Christchurch. Just for the weekend. Yeah. So just, just relaxing, bro. And just chilling, pretty much. Oh, nice, man. How was training yeah. yesterday? Yeah, bro. It was pretty full on. Um, this is the last day of the week before we go. Yeah. On weekend, so uh, just did quite a bit of running. Yeah, yeah nice. So it was all good, yeah. C can you see me and hear me on my end? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everything's yeah. clear? Everything's good? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Yeah, yeah, you're good on your end as well, man. Oh, uh, sweet as yeah. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate you, you know, waking up earlier and, and doing this, man. Um, oh, so good, bro. Yeah, sweet. All right, um, let's get this started, man. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Tell me a little bit, a little bit about your union career. How did it all start? Uh, uh, I started. I probably sort of kickstarted when I was in um, North Limbo. Um, yep. So, I uh, I played in Christchurch for like a couple of years, like straight out of school. So, like from twenty fourteen to fifteen. Yep. But um. Yeah, my family sort of moved to Melbourne and then I sort of decided to stay and moved to Whangarei, which is up north, yep. in Northland. And then, um, yeah, decided to play club rugby there um, and was lucky enough to get uh, sort of my team contract for Northland. That's right, yep. Yeah, and then um, that sort of same year I, I had a call from um, the Chiefs coach, Dave Rini, at the time to... Um, uh, that they wanted me for their squad, so yeah, that's sort of how it kick started, bro. Yeah. Really were you playing? Strict. Were you playing in high school? Yeah, 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 I was playing in high school. Um, in Christchurch, uh, St. Beach College. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, I was playing there. Um, yeah, I've played. Oh, it was sort of like my my dad sort of got me into it. I played like from like six years old. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So something I like doing. So it's good. Yeah, good man. Absolutely. But, yeah. yeah. Is it true you had to gain like seven kilos or something? I think in one of your interviews you said you had to gain seven kilos to play that role. Yeah, yeah bro. Oh, that was just because um, I came over a bit lighter. Um, yeah. So I came back after our, our Mighty 10 break and I was weighing about, I think, like 93, yeah. 93 kg. So I lost like five kg. So I just put on like seven kgs to get back to 100. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was just like... That was pretty tough, bro. Like, I was just eating, like, all the time, pretty much. They sort of... Oh, they do care in a sense, like, to what you eat, but it's just as long as you're eating. Yeah. And because, like, you yeah, know, just... In my situation, like, they sort of just... Because my skin folds are pretty low, so... And I've got a fast metabolism, so... They yeah. They just sort of... Just said to keep eating. Like, yeah. As much as you can, so... Yeah. Maybe just give the audience some context around your... Um your body composition like where's where's it at right now in terms of your height your weight yep. uh your skin folds and things like that roughly all year round like where do you where do you kind of sit and stuff uh so, um so like i'm six five yep and um at the moment i'm weighing 100 or uh, 100 kgs yep um my skin folds are like 45 right now yep so that's like quite low for the amount of weight that I'm sort of carrying, but it's yeah. sort of it's good because yeah. like because I'm quite yeah. tall, so I'll yeah. be able to carry a bit more. Yeah, and, um, and you're twenty at twenty two, right, or twenty three now? Are you twenty? Yeah, twenty two. So twenty two. Yeah, twenty two. Yeah. yeah. So man, still sweet. so still so so many more years, man. So yeah, so <laughs> yeah, man. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it goes good. Just sort of want to get to that next level, but I got a bit of time. So. You got so much time, man. You got yeah. so much time, man. You just you know. You keep training and keep doing what you're doing, man. You just you just like pop up, man, for sure. Yeah. And like, I'm gonna remember this conversation and like this call that I had with you. <laughs> you know, cheers, brother. You, yeah. <laughs> which would be amazing, you know, when you, uh, which would be really cool. So let's go back to um, you know, when you say you have to put seven kegs on, you have to like eat a lot, train a lot. Um, give me some context about like how many meals you were eating, uh, what kind of foods. Was it was the club strict on what you had to eat? I know the club's uh, a bit yeah. more relaxed. I know AFL codes are more strict uh, and things like that. Yeah. Maybe you guys are a little bit more relaxed. Can you can you share with that if you don't mind? Yeah. Um, 
so I went out to put that weight back on. Um, it was sort of, uh, so I'd have like three main meals, but the sort of issue with me was that I wasn't snacking yeah. like as much. So like it's every two meals. hours, yeah. So every two hours just trying to get in like, maybe like a can of cream rice and a protein shake um, or like something along those lines, like something like they just wanted me taking in like a lot of carbs. Yeah. Um, what carb sources time, would you go for? Oh, Ra- rice, potatoes. Just, yeah, because uh, I like rice, so a lot of the time it's like rice, like cream rice. Don't worry, I love rice too, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's so good. Um, what else? Oh, and just when we're in, in preseason, they sort of have this thing called um, the Super Gainers Shake. Okay. So it's just like a thousand calorie shake. Damn. So you have like, depending, also like there's about six of us in that group. So you have like two of those a day. Yep. So you have it after gym, or you can choose to have it. Um, after a unit session so yep. that's like in the mornings or um, after gym and then one in the Arvo as well yep so there's two but then as well as that they want you to like making your own at home like before you go to bed mm. um, so like you make one before you go to bed and then so it's like you know like you end up having like six shakes if you want to have protein shakes as a as a as a snack yeah that's a lot of calories yeah. man yeah, I know, bro. So it's you, like you didn't count, right? You just they just told you to just follow these guidelines, but never count calories. Yeah. Never, never be super strict. You guys never had something regimented, like you didn't take mm. like bodybuilding approaches or nothing like that, right? Nah, nah, nah. Just, nothing like that. Nah, yeah, like that. it was just straight. Yep. It sort of just gave us an eating plan, and yeah, it was just a matter of eating. I think like a few of the other boys are different. Like, just I think like because with AFL, a lot of them are pretty like quite lean. Mm. So they'd have to be pretty strict on their, on their um, diet and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, with us like, and footy especially like, oh, they don't mind us being lean, but it's probably uh, expect us to carry a bit more. Yeah, it, it depends upon the role, right? So yeah, exactly. With, with someone like yourself as a, as a, um, as a uh, fullback or a wingman, like mm. as especially as a fullback, you need to be fast. You need to be strong. Yeah. You need to be able to break tackles. So. Mm that's depending upon the role just to give the audience a little bit of context so yeah, yeah you need to be obviously strong enough and lean as well yeah 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 all right so um what about what about your training so you're eating a lot of calories now you are having these mm. m- mega shakes and all, all these mm. things and all these calories so what yeah. are we doing with training alongside are, you, are we yeah Pumping weights um, as well, like five days a week. Were you sprinting on the track? Like how how many hours yeah. of training were you doing a day, and what would that look like? Okay, so our, so in preseason is quite that's sort of where like you do a lot of the work. So mm-hmm. um, our you're in preseason now. Uh, you are in preseason. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got um, just one more week of preseason. One more week, okay. Yeah, so a uh, usual day would look like so our week. Sorry, would be Monday. Um, would have like a unit session so that's like backs and forwards split yep. um, so we'd usually go into the gym after the forwards so they have a unit session out on the grass just like going through like uh, um, I don't know just sort of our skill based stuff as a back yep. backs group yep. and then um, after that we'd have gym um, in between we have like a little break so like maybe it's like a 20 minute break 30 minute break oh no 20 minute mm. so just for refuel so get your snack on yeah. and then straight into the gym um, after that we'd have lunch um, lunch usually and then in the Arvo would have a team training so that's like pretty high intensity um, it's like a, a lot of contact and a lot of running pretty much yeah um, yeah and then so that would be like a typical Monday Tuesday and a Thursday um, we get Wednesdays off, but it's that Wednesdays for more like your personal development day. Yeah. So like, just your life after rugby, like you sort of want to um, sort out on like that sort of day that you get to sort of chip away at that. Mm-hmm. Um, Work on some skills for, and hobbies and stuff on that on the outside, yeah. outside of yeah, rugby as well. Outside they, of rugby, they yeah. encourage that. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and then um, 
a Friday would look like. So a Friday would be like a big day. Um, would it would be similar to Mondays or the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. But except after team training, we'd have like a would be some sort of like physical event. So like say like a triathlon or something like that. Or probably I'd probably be like I reckon training wise, like on our feet, would probably be like like six. Six hours of training all up, I reckon, or seven if it's a Friday. Six, seven hours on the Friday. Yeah, so I reckon it would be like a, I reckon six hours of training on a Friday. Yeah. And the same with the other days, but it's just yeah, it just depends because we'd start it. We'll start at like seven in the morning and like mm-hmm. finish it. I get out of base till like six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a full day, fun. man. Yeah, yeah. Just so you. So give me. Uh, it just lagged a little bit, and the internet connection dropped off as you're talking about oh. what, what you did on Friday. So do you mind oh, just yeah. going th- going over that again? So we know the hours, but what were you doing? Yep. What kind of types of training were you doing? It's just full contact, more. Yeah. So on Fridays, um, so in preseason, it's more like, um, so we'll do it's like a, it'll be similar to the Mondays. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, afterwards, like after our team training, on, uh, sorry, on the Fridays would have um some sort of physical event. Yeah. So yeah, like the, uh, the triathlons um, and things like that you're yeah, mentioning yeah. Things like that. yeah so um, they do that and then just to finish off the week but sort of once we're in season it's sort of Fridays change a lot yeah you would have the day to day before the game yeah. correct yeah you'd have to back yeah. off a lot of, of the yeah. load man yeah. are, you, are you like exhausted I mean of course you're custom conditioned to it because it's your job now but that's so yeah. much training imagine that kind of yeah. much training for like a basic individual um, yeah. like a basic normal human like a basic human being yeah. you know what I mean that's a lot of training they'd be so sore after training yeah um, yeah oh it sort of took me a while to get used to it like, yeah um, especially when I was sort of new to it like mm. last year was my first year and like the first prison last year was quite tough like I found but it's sort of I feel like coming into this preseason I've sort of had a taste of it and know what knew what to expect so yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah. Good. So, so I'm not too bad now, but yeah, I think it's just like nailing your recovery and stuff. So let's talk a little bit about the recovery, man. Do you do things like yeah. saunas or cold tubs, cold therapy, ice yeah. baths, a lot of that yeah. stuff? Yeah. So they they like um, sort of active recovery. So mm-hmm. yeah, we go to the pool straight after and just mm-hmm. do a few laps. Or yeah. after that, once we get back to um, our changing rooms, we've got ice baths there. So yeah. we jump into those and. They sort of encourage like um, getting onto like the normal ticks and yep. stuff like that. Um, and do you just like wearing your skins to be okay? Do you like the yeah. ice bath? Do you, do you find it easy? <laughs> oh, nah, I sort of struggle away. Yeah, I'm the tough. I'm the type of dude that will stay in for like 30 seconds and I won't go with it. 30 stay seconds. In for long. Yeah. yeah. How long do they want you? In? How long do they want you in for? Oh, so probably like five minutes. A minute on, a minute yeah. on, and then right. you can go back out and then. Keep going for like till it adds up to five minutes. Yeah. So yeah. Try look up um if you got some time, like mm. look up or YouTube this guy named Wim Hof, W I M H O F. He's like a yep. Dutch guy and he like he climbs mountains in like the winter and stuff like that with just shorts on, and shoes, like no top, nothing, and wow. he I think he's got the longest record, being in an ice tub for like I think it's like two and a half hours or something like that. He just what the yeah he's hey, crazy. How does he do that? He just does his breathing technique. It's called the Wim Hof breathing, and uh, yeah, you can give it a try before you actually start your cold therapy next time. Yeah. Just look up the way he breathes. It's like yeah. a deep breath in, deep breath out like that, and he will just repeat that cycle. He'll do like mm. twenty of them, and then on the last one, on the twentieth breath, he'll like take a deep breath in, and he'll hold and he'll squeeze. He'll squeeze his fists. He'll squeeze his arms his chest his neck and it will squeeze very hard and what that oh. does is just heats up your body and then he exhales and then he does it again and then he starts Whoa. another round he does another 20 and then after the yeah. 20th breath he holds squeezes and then oh. yeah so it's pretty much it looks really simple you can you, are you a fan of joe rogan yeah yeah yeah, yeah he's on the yeah. joe rogan podcast man so you can check that out wim hof is on it he talks about all the benefits um in terms of all the science um if you're interested 
So yeah, yeah. definitely recommend that, bro. Yeah, Check I'll... that one out. And then what was it? Wim Hof. Wim Hof. W I M. I'll send you a text yeah. and I'll link. Yeah. I'll send you a link and you can check it out. But yeah, yeah. at our work and our, at our gym, we do um we do monthly uh, community ice baths. We got actually one oh, today. Yeah. yeah. So we've got like yeah. 100, 200 bags of ice and an inflatable pool, and all the gym members yeah. and all the clients jump in there together, and we mm. we do the Wim Hof breathing, and then we jump in there. And we sit there for about two minutes, two to two to five minutes. Shucks. Yeah. So these are just That's regular long. everyday people that that yeah. um yeah. So they're all getting into it, man. So it's pretty cool. That's cool news. Yeah. I'll bring you. I'll bring you over next time. Next next time you're in yeah. Melbourne and you're in the area. Yeah, bro. I'll pop in. Yeah, it'll be awesome. And we'll, we'll do a training session. Yeah. And whatnot uh, as well. Yeah. Good old Derek. Good old Dermot. We hit that up. Yeah, Dermot. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Well, let's talk about your training man what kind of like um workouts do you do is it more like crossfit is it more, more like mm. like powerlifting obviously it's big on strength stuff so you'd be lifting yep. quite heavy mm. um, um do you have a, yeah, do you have so, a like a layout for that yeah so just depending on what you are what your sort of individual needs are mm-hmm. they'll sort of make the program for you so okay. um the sort of my ones, um sort of try to maintain my strength and like trying to get like a bit stronger as well but but sort of happier where I'm at so mm. um, a lot of it so we sort of have upper body day which is usually Tuesdays and Fridays mm-hmm. um, and lower body days which is Monday and week or oh, Monday and Thursday sorry yep um, the internet keeps dropping out how are you going? And 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 snatches and stuff like that. Um, sorry, bro. The yeah, internet sorry, dropped bro. out. Sorry, the internet oh, dropped sorry, out. Bro. Before right, bro. before the snatches, what was it? Yeah. What were you doing? Oh, just like power cleans and power stuff cleans? like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we don't. Yeah, was we do a bit of it, but not too much. Like, um, mm. but yeah, they're sort of like more focused on well, at the moment, like our technique because. We have a lot of new boys, so yeah. Um, as the sort of season wears on, like we'll um, sort of focus on getting a bit more weight on, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's pretty much just like <clears throat> yeah, like your basic lifts we do. Sure. What do you enjoy the most? What's your favorite lift? Um, oh, well, that's a tough one. Probably at the moment, probably a probably a power clean. Power clean? Because I was sort of, yeah. Yeah. It's sort of my favorite at the moment. Yeah. Um, that and, mm, yeah, probably, yeah, power clean at the moment because I'm sort of getting better at it, so it's good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your worst and your worst exercise that you most, <sighs> the most worst, hate? Uh, what do I Is it upper body uh, or lower body? Uh, what's that? The, the worst, worst one? Yeah. Um, the one I don't enjoy the most? Correct. Probably your old body. So, and what would it be? Body. It would, would probably it... be. Um, no, what would it be? Because I don't mind squats. Like squats are like, like I, I probably least enjoy them the most, but I sort of yeah learned to like like them. But I'd started off I'd like like just like them. Uh, yeah, like I did not like them. No one likes weight training legs yeah. in the beginning until they love it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sort of learn to love it. Eh? Yeah, because so. everyone's used to running and you know yeah. doing all this stuff, and they rather do that. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Mm. But your legs yeah. get so strong; to love it. they get yeah. strong really quick. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome, man. That's that's really good. So mm. let's talk a little bit about your season coming up. Um, yeah. Is it? I've read some news that you'll be also returning back to Tasman Marker. Is that also? Is that correct? Tasman Marker as well. Yeah, bro. So, I've, did I pronounce um, that correct? I know I'm not. I know yeah. I'm not back. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm not that, that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> that was that was um that was crazy, bro. It's um yeah, it'll be my first season of thing. Yeah. So, um, I sort of just want to have a means or uh, a strong season for the Chiefs, and yep. then um, what's it called sort of try to become a regular starter. Yeah. And then yeah, just hopefully take it down to Tazzy. Um, yeah. Tasman. So I sort of just moved there just because I felt like I was a bit getting a bit too comfortable at um, comfortable at 
my club before. Yeah. So, um, and I just needed, I don't know, to sort of test myself a little bit more because um, in my attend, there's two sort of pools. Yeah. So there's championship and premiership. Yep. And premiership, like, there's, like, a majority of, like, of, like a high caliber of teams. Yeah. Um, championship is too, but it's sort of like there'll be a couple, well, four really good teams and then four really not so good teams. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, so I sort of felt like, and it was closer to home because Christchurch is like four or three hour drive away from Tasman. So, mm. oh, I was just from Nelson. So, <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. Yeah, not too bad. It's better than being like on the, another island. Yeah. So, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. yeah, but that's sort of my main goal, just have a really good season for the Chiefs and then try to carry it into my 10 cup. Yeah, but, good yeah. good man, absolutely. Sounds like you got a goal, you got a plan, you, you know, you've got some structure yeah. now, you're putting in the work and you've got time, yeah. man. So, yeah. uh, no, no, that's, that's going to be awesome, man. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about last season, uh, about the Chiefs and stuff like that. They had a great, successful year. Yeah. You know, yeah. finishing off at I think it was four, uh, the semi, the semis or something yeah. like that. So yeah. you guys made the semis, losing to the eventual winners in the, in the Crusaders yeah. there. Um, yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. What was it like uh, playing them? How were they yeah. different? And what was your season like, um, all in all, with, with the Chiefs having a great successful uh, year? I think yeah. fifteen wins um, or something, right? Did you guys yeah, get fifteen so wins? It was like it was the most wins we've had in the season. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much it, or how many wins it was, but I yeah, like fifteen um, was it? Fifteen wins or something? Yeah. Uh, it oh. might have been a bit less, less, maybe oh, like okay. thirteen or twelve. Okay. But yeah, um, oh, it was it was all good season. Like we sort of got given some stats the other day, um, and like we didn't sort of realize until like now that like last year was like the most wins we'd had in the season before. Great. Um, like it was a good season, but I uh, like we all feel like we sort of like didn't really get to where we should have should have um like we're happy with that we got to the semi-finals but we sort of didn't really set us us ourselves up in like a sort of better spot than we could have mm. so like in the pool games especially in like the sort of um in the games that you sort of like should should have won like should have won comfortably. Right. Um, we sort of like gave up bonus points and stuff like that. That could mm. have helped us. Like, get, get higher. Yeah, get yeah. into a better position. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, nah, then you wouldn't have to play the Crusaders. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> Until the final. Yeah. Right, so, thing, you yeah. Know? And we could have like helped ourselves get like home advantage or something for yeah. a, like a quarter or something like that. But I don't know. It's sort of what happens. But yeah. apart from that, like, it was a, like unreal season. Like, I was sort of stoked with how I went. Like, I sort of started off a bit slow, but I just sort of came out near the end and sort of um, got a bit more confident and stuff like that. So. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I was sort of happy with how it went. Like, and the amount of learning, bro, like, you get off, like, some of the players. Like, So, like, I learned quite a bit off um, some of the AB boys and stuff like that. So I sort of felt like last year was more a learning year for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're working and, with people like Liam, Liam Assan, yeah, yeah, Tim uh, Nano Williams and things like that. Right? Yeah, Nano Williams as well. Yeah. He was like big for me last year. And yeah, yeah, it was just yeah, it was sort of it's sort of hard going into an environment like that and um, like you know you followed rugby like we all life and mm-hmm. a lot of them are like I've watched and exactly like I've, some of them are like my favorite players and it's like weird. Being able to train, yeah, so I'm it sure takes a while to get used to it. I'm but sure like that, that welcoming, yeah, that real welcoming and stuff, and but it's just like, just like, pretty starstruck at the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, I was so happy with how our season went. Um, Crusaders are unreal though. Like, um, I just feel like, yeah, they're just, I don't know, they so, I like reckon they got the balance right. Um. It's all about Last that. Year. Yeah, luck. A yeah, bit of luck so, as well. Yeah, so they're like oh, the best in the world for like a reason, like mm. as a franchise. So, yeah. Um, nah, it's like, yeah, uh, especially because I was down here for a bit, like you can sort of, like, I sort of like seen 
like what they like. Yeah. And the amount of work they put in, like I'm not saying we work any less, like like we all work hard, but you know, like yeah, Crusaders, I think like they sort of got the balance right. Yeah. And um, yeah, just sort of got the better of us on the day. That would be the team on the day. So mm. yeah. I look forward to That's clashing them again this season. Yeah. Hopefully, you can redeem redeem yourself yeah. and things like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. But you had a great so, year yourself yeah. um, with the Chiefs. Uh, is it true that you won you you won any like nominations and accolades for that year as well? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about, about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was just sort of lucky enough to get yeah rookie of the year last year. Um, where where, where, where was, was this? Where did, what was it? Let, let that uh, let that hide under underneath yeah. that radar there. <laughs> I was yeah. waiting. I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, good yeah. man. So I was lucky enough to get that, and um, fantastic. Yeah, it was it was pretty like, I was pretty cool that, you know, just to sort of realize that your peers sort of like thought that, mm. you know, like you deserved like that award and stuff. So good, and I was man. pretty cool. Like, um, I was pretty humbling as well. So yeah, that was all good. It was just I don't really sort of think of it at the time as much, just because we're sort of, I think we're heading into the back end of the season. Yeah. Um. Like the finals and the finals footy and stuff, but yeah, yeah, no, it was cool. Like now that I look back, like I'm yeah, pretty proud of it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. That's the focus. That's a goal. You know, mm. you've got semis coming up and all that stuff, and then when you do your rewards and recognition night, um, mm. you must be pretty blown away to to get yeah. that. So that's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, bro. Well, good, good luck for the season, man. It sounds like you had a great like season last year. You know, you fit, you're healthy, you. You know, you've 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 followed everything on track, and, you, and you're going really well. So you're setting yourself up this year for, for another great season. And I'll be watching, man. So um, I'll okay. now now that now that I'm like more into it now, I'll be like supporting you and, and watching the Chiefs play. So uh, yeah, man. Cheers, All the best. bro. Nah, thanks for that. Eh? It means that this means heaps, bro. Yeah. Thanks for the chat too. Yeah, we'll share, we'll share that around Melbourne. Get Melbourne a little bit more, yeah. in, a little bit yeah. more known about it. So yeah. Yeah, um, so it is. But yeah, I appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, we'll probably wrap it up there, man. If, yeah, if, bro. Yeah, this maybe. What about like uh, how can people reach you or contact you just to finish off? Like maybe your social handles. You maybe want to share that. Uh yeah. So what are you active on? Um, uh, uh probably most active on Instagram. Yep. Um, it's just my first and last name. So yep. It's just yeah. All right. But um, yeah, apart from that, like that's probably what I'm most active on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just in case people want to uh, check you out and see what you're, you're up to as well. Ah, so good. Yeah, yeah. so yes, bro. Yeah, so I'm there. So right. yes, bro. Awesome. Thanks well, for that. Yeah. No I worries, know. We'll man. keep in touch though, bro. Definitely. Right. Let me know next time when I'll you're up in you. Melbourne. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah, we'll link up for um, a workout or something. Yeah, or well, likewise see when I'm yes, down bro. there or something. Yeah, we'll yeah bro. Hide, hide. All right. All right, so man. Yes. Peace. All right, have a good day. Bye. Cheers.